Hey, okay, so I decided on a whim to do a haul video of everything that I got from today at the bins on my quick lunch break. Hi, dark circles, wow. Um, that's okay. Um, and also two items that I got the other day that I went that are actually like super duper cool. So um, I just, I don't know, I felt inspired to do a haul video. I'm not really sure why. So you can see that I'm sweating because I'm always sweating. So today at the bins, it was a very, very fast trip. I went on my lunch break. As we can see, I'm a float pool hero in my regular life. Um, and just an eBay seller on the side. So I came upon this amazing patch of vintage items at the bins today. This is a brand that is new to me. It is called Souffle. Um, I don't, I have not looked extensively for it, but it is absolutely perfect for spring. It is vintage. I think I have seen some things on like Etsy, uh, this brand, but um, I need to do a lot more research. And it's like a nylon feel and it's absolutely perfect for this time of year. So I'm excited to get that listed. It probably won't bring a ton of money, but it's super cute. Okay, next, obviously this is out of season, but I still picked it up because it is very, very cool looking and it is free people and I believe it is 100% wool. Hold. Yes, it is. 100% wool, free people and it has this very these very cool buttons. I'm always very, very, very drawn to buttons and these are super cool buttons. Actually, the other day, a woman and I were discussing bringing some scissors with me and cutting off the buttons of things that I liked. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but Free People sells really good. I see a little teeny tiny, minuscule little hole um, somewhere, but that's like no big deal. You can't even tell it's there. Also, my mom can fix anything, so there's that. This is where I found a ton of the vintage stuff. This is called Ply Cashmere, and it is a 100% cashmere, like, kind of half cardigan. Just kind of like a very, very light, um, kind of cropped cardigan. So, again, won't pull, like, a ton of money. Isn't seasonal, but it's still cashmere, and it's in really good shape. So, we got that. So, this I grabbed. I didn't comp it. I just grabbed it based on style. It's very, very, very boho, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, and it's not, a, it's a very cheap brand called Kimchi in Blue, um, and it doesn't resell for a lot. So I just comped that, but again, I got it based on style, and so, you know, it is what it is. Next, this was in that little pack of vintage. This is Precious, and it is a dress, and the brand is Toby which is funny because I have a little friend Toby at the bins. So Toby dress. And I'm really excited to kind of look this up. It's super duper cute, super vintage, kind of super 70s. Um, and so yeah, so that was exciting. So there's that, really cute. Next is this 100%, I had never heard of this brand, but Rachel Zoe, I feel like she's an actress. Maybe I'm making that up, I don't really know. Rachel Zoe, but it is 100% linen, so, and it's very much got that, I don't know what you call it, um, I don't know, but anyways, like, a look that people like, I don't know, I, I'm not really sure, so, anyways, 100% linen, um, and so, definitely picked that up, I think the comps look pretty decent. Next, this is kind of, I just picked this up, it, it feels like velvet, it is velvet, it's vintage Chico's, which normally I would never pick up Chico's, but actually the comps on this, it's, well, it's Chico's, but it is Chico's design. I'm not really sure the difference, but anyways, it's half silk, half rayon, so it's velvety, and it's kind of this like kimono style kind of thing, and it's got some beading and some stuff like that, and you can see, I don't turn it around so you can actually see it. Anyway. The comps actually weren't that bad, so I picked that up. Here's the coup de gras from today. Does anything need to be said? I ask you. It's a jacket of mirrors. 
And actually, I did comp this, and one was sold for $39. So here we go. It is Mona Lisa is the brand, um, high fashion, and it's made in Korea. And that sort of always tips me off when things are made in Korea. I don't know. I don't know. I just, anyway, and it's actually, so I don't know if you can tell, but actually part of the design on it is tigers. It's fabulous. Anyway, that was an obvious must get because I think it's vintage. I'm not positive. The only stuffy from today, which was a super cute little kitty kitty and a brand that is new to me, which is Master Made Toys. Um, and I could not find an exact comp, but all the time with these vintage toys, I always think to myself, okay, somebody somewhere had this at one time and they're going to want it back. So they sit forever, but you know, it is what it is. I can see now that my jacket is shedding, so hopefully it doesn't shed too much. So from the other day, this was such a great find. I was in a crappy mood, so I didn't really appreciate it as much at the time as I am right now. I give to you prom. Ruffled prom, vintage, true vintage. After six is the brand, and it is a ruffled prom tux shirt in yellow with, with, obviously needs to be ironed tremendously, a jacket. And the jacket belongs with it because it is, is night, it is called Night Magic After Six. And that is what that is called. So it is a shirt and jacket combo. I will probably list this for $150, obviously with offers. I'm very excited about it. I need to obviously iron it quite a bit, but that was really, really exciting. So um, when you're a vintage clothing seller, such as myself, um, stuff like that is super exciting. So anyway, so that was really fun. Look at this fun button. Okay, I have a thing for buttons. I can't help it. Um, and so that's that. And so there you have it. That was the other day and today and we shall see what happens. I'm feeling a little bit more motivated today because, well, I was feeling a bit down because my eBay wasn't doing well, but last night I actually got five offers in the middle of the night. I wish I had been awake to hear the cha-ching and to see the little notifications, but I wasn't. Um, but that was really exciting and it motivated me to keep going and keep listing and keep doing whatever. Oh, this I got today also. Um, Unfortunately, it is very, very dingy. I didn't even have a chance to look. I knew it was vintage. I could tell immediately it was vintage based on the Mickey and then obviously the vintage Disney Store logo. There you go. But it is very, very, very dingy and um, really just stained and dingy. And probably, I'm not really sure what I would do with it, but will probably, made in Indonesia, so, you know, 90s, maybe early 2000s. I'm not sure. It'll probably go back into the Goodwill box. So, anywho. So that is that. I am going to continue to drink my wine and perspire. And, um, thank you for tuning in. Hey, Ben, do you want to come say hello to my audience? No. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Can you say hi? No. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, thank you. And 